Thanks for listening to English Go podcast. To listen without advertisements or to read episode transcripts, visit englishgo.co.uk for more information. Miracles do happen. A gorgeously imaginative new musical is now on Broadway. Water for Elephants is a New York Times critic's pick. It's stunning, emotional, spellbinding entertainment. A dazzling love story, propulsive with passion. Don't miss the best new musical on Broadway. Water for Elephants. Get tickets now at telecharge.com and choose the ride. Millions of people have lost weight with personalized plans from Noom, like Evan, who can't stand salads and still lost 50 pounds. Salads generally for most people are the easy button, right? For me, that wasn't an option. I never really was a salad guy. That's just not who I am. But Noom worked for me. Get your personalized plan today at Noom.com. Real Noom user compensated to provide their story. In four weeks, the typical Noom user can expect to lose one to two pounds per week. Individual results may vary. Need new glasses or want a fresh new style? Warby Parker has you covered. Glasses start at just 95 bucks, including anti-reflective, scratch-resistant prescription lenses that block 100% of UV rays. Every frame's designed in-house, with a huge selection of styles for every face shape. And with Warby Parker's free home try-on program, you can order five pairs to try at home for free. Shipping is free both ways, too. Go to warbyparker.com slash covered to try five pairs of frames at home for free. warbyparker.com slash covered. Hello everyone, I have just been out for a bike ride this morning and it's actually been a long time since I last went on a bike ride. Well, not, you know, not months and months, but um, as you know, normally I'll go for a bike ride every morning and it's part of my my study routine. I'll be listening to a Japanese podcasts, I'll go and read my book outside, Japanese book. Um, but... What what's happened lately is I have been spending most of my mornings um, working on transcripts um, for the older episodes of this podcast. I've been going back into the past many years and uh, listening to the old episodes and you know creating transcripts for them. And it's been it's been quite fun actually. I didn't think it would be fun listening to old my old episodes, you know, because I I made them. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I've already, obviously, I've heard them before, sort of, because I made them. Um, but yeah, it was actually interesting um, just hearing uh, my different opinions about different things in the past and things like that. Anyway, um, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about exactly. What I wanted to say was, um, it feels like it's been a while since I've been out on my usual bike ride. And um, I don't know, how long has it really actually been? Maybe a week two weeks? It feels like it's sort of been two weeks, perhaps. And um, last time I went for a bike ride, all of the like, like the, the flowers and the trees and the cherry blossom trees were just about getting ready to come out. You know, you could see like a little tiny bud on the trees, you know, like a little, like the the part where it's about to, the flowers are about to grow from little buds. Um, And then I went out uh, today and it, all everything's out. All all of the cherry blossom trees are out. All of the flowers out, but it's like they've gone past their peak, you know. So um, I think they would have looked much better, like maybe last weekend. Um, well, it's it's Friday now. Maybe last Friday they would have looked even better. I think I've like missed the best part, and I'm I was cycling around, and to be honest, I was a bit annoyed with myself. I was thinking, I can't believe it. Why have I spent so much time indoors when this is like probably one of the nicest parts of the year in Japan? Um, everything's out, all kinds of flowers out, and the park that I uh, all kinds of flowers are out, and the park that I normally go to has got loads of flowers in, all kinds, all kinds of flowers, um, tulips, marigolds, uh, pansies, everything. Well, not everything, but lots, <laughs> and, and lots of them that I don't know the names to. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing, and I've been taking some photographs of it. But all, all of the petals on the flowers, they're a little bit like, mm, you know, they're, um, well, we say wilting. They're wilting, so it means they're going sort of like soft and, um, 
you know, looking a bit brown, that kind of thing. So it's it's a shame I've missed the best parts. And I've been coming out like almost every day, um, all, all throughout most of the, the winter. And when it's winter time, it doesn't look so great, if I'm honest. The grass over here during the winter it just goes, it turns yellow. And um, I don't know about you, but yellow grass doesn't look great to me. Um, but now, I mean, I've been out today and all the grass is, is turning green and um, it's just like a, a different country. Um, there's so much going on, so much to look at. And uh, I sort of wish that I'd been going out every day for the past two weeks and just watching these changes, you know, like watch, watching these flowers like gradually um, begin to open and um, that kind of thing. But yeah, I am a bit annoyed with myself. <laughs> But, you know, it's it's been for a, a good cause. It's um, the reason I've been staying indoors has been good. I'm, um, as you know, I've got a, um, a new website up for this podcast, uh, englishgo.co.uk. And um, I'm putting a lot of effort into that, trying to um, trying to make it a good place for people who like this podcast to go. Um, and I'm not there yet. I've got lots of work to do. But yeah, I imagine in the future, you'll be able to like, go to like, you'll be listening to an episode like this episode, for example, and then you can check the link below. And then maybe I'll, there'll be a link in there to a place that you can like comment on this episode. And maybe there are other people commenting on it. And you can, I don't know, maybe ask a question to me in there and all kinds of stuff I want to do really. Um, you know, so if there's a word that I've used you don't understand and you want to know the answer, what it is, or a phrase I've used and you want to know what that is. Or maybe you can rate the episode as well. You know, you can say like, I like this episode or I didn't like this episode. And then that will help me make uh, better episodes for you. So yeah, there's lo- lots of things I want to do now that I've got this website and I'm putting a lot of time into it. Um, but these transcripts, wow, have I got a lot to do. Um I think it was yesterday or or a couple of days ago, I worked out how much time it was going to take me to, like, make all of the transcripts, right? So, like, my average, um, like, length of a a, uh, podcast is about 13 minutes, say. And then I times that by the amount of episodes I've got to do. And I worked out I've got about 60 hours of work to do. 60 hours. That is a lot. (laughs) You know, that's a lot of time. Uh, to put in so you know if you do want to sponsor me you can go to englishgo.co.uk forward slash link forward slash support and you can sign up to be a member of the english go community for just one pound a month which in us dollars is what about one one dollar fifty or something like that anyway i'm um i'm having fun working on that and um I suppose the only thing I wish, the only thing I wish is that I had more time to work on it. So obviously, you know, I've got the mornings are sort of my free time. And then after the mornings, I have to start my job, you know, my normal work. So um, to be honest, I could work on, on my website, you know, on this englishgo.co.uk. I could work on that all day. <laughs> and I want to. And like when, when, when like the afternoon comes and it's like, oh, I have to, I have to, you know, start working on my, um, my normal work. I feel like I don't want to stop working on the, on the englishgo.co.uk, but you know, <laughs> I've got to I've got to earn a living somehow. I've got to earn money, so um, I, ha- I have no choice really. But who knows? Someday, maybe if enough of you like this podcast, maybe if enough of you want to support this podcast, maybe things will change. I don't know. It's up to you. But lately, I have been thinking that it would be nice to. Uh, put more effort into this podcast because it's something that I enjoy a lot and it's something, it's my, I'm going to say creative outlet. Um, So it's a way that I can be creative, you know, I can create something, I can make something and I can release that into the world. Um, And I've said this before, but when when I'm doing my normal work, my day job, I'm always doing somebody else's work so someone's saying to me, I want you to make this. And I say, okay, I will make this for you. But when I'm working on my own my own things, my own project, you know, when I'm working on English Go, it's like, I want to make this and I will make it for me. Well, yeah, it's for me. But I'm, I'm making it for you. But, you know, it's something that I want to do. It's something that I enjoy doing. So um, it's a different feeling. It's a different it gives me a, a, a sense of satisfaction. I feel satisfied 
uh, when I'm making podcast episodes. So I have been thinking it'd be nice to, um, I don't know, maybe do more or I don't know what I'm going to do. But I feel like I, there is some, I want to put more effort into this podcast. And I've been thinking about ways that I can help people improve their English other than just the podcast. And I don't know what that's going to be yet. Um, but yeah, I have been thinking it would be nice if there's something else, some other help that I can offer somehow uh, to help everyone's English. I've thought about maybe even teaching English. Um, I really don't know. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll think. I'll have a think about it and see if I come up with anything. I suppose um, one of the reasons I've been thinking that I want to, you know, do something more for you, um, put some more effort into this podcast perhaps or something like that is... I've been getting um, quite a lot of lovely messages from all of you recently. Um, ever since I like created this n- uh, new website, and s- since there's a way that you can send me a message, people have been getting in touch with me, and uh, I've had some really, really nice messages on there. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much um, to everyone who has got in touch with me so far. I really do enjoy reading your messages, and... Um, yeah, of course, it motivates me a lot more to um, keep carrying on with this podcast, keep putting effort into this podcast, especially when I hear how much it's helping you. Because, you know, I'm I'm sitting here, I'm recording this podcast, and then I like send it out into the world. And sometimes I don't hear, well, most of the time, actually, I don't hear any anything back or get any feedback. And I think... I don't know. Is it, uh, do people like it? Does it? Is it helping you? Is it? You know? Do you want me to change things? So yeah, it's it's been great getting some feedback from people again. Really helpful. And of course, I've had some requests, uh, some topic requests again. So I hope to be uh, able to do those soon. I've also had someone write a topic request to me completely in Japanese, and I suppose I should say, yeah, um, if you know, if you speak Japanese and you want to write to me in Japanese. That's no problem at all. Japanese or English is fine. Or if you know, if you want to write in your native language, whatever that language is, um, feel free to do that. I can probably find some online translator, and uh, you know, I'll try my best uh, to read what you, you've written. So anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there for today's episode. I've talked a little bit about all of the lovely. Uh, flowers and cherry blossom trees and uh, the the nice weather that I'm uh, well that we're getting here in in Japan recently and a little bit about um, what I've been doing uh, for the podcast for the website and also about you know people getting in touch with me and yeah if you want to get in touch with me then like I said last episode you can just go to englishgo.co.uk forward slash link forward slash message. Okay, until next time, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Here's a cool fact. A crocodile can't stick out its tongue. Another cool fact, you can get short-term health insurance for a month or just under a year in some states. United Healthcare short-term insurance plans are designed for people who are between jobs, coming off their parents' plan, or turning a side hustle into a full-time gig. Underwritten by Golden Rule Insurance Company, they offer flexible, budget-friendly coverage with access to a nationwide network of doctors and hospitals. Get more cool facts about United Healthcare short-term plans at uh1.com. Normally, being a little extra might be a bit much, but not when it comes to healthcare. That's why United Healthcare's Health Protector Guard fixed indemnity insurance plans, underwritten by Golden Rule Insurance Company, supplement your primary plan so you manage out-of-pocket costs. Learn more at uh1.com. Hey, it's Paige DeSorbo from Giggly Squad. High quality fashion without the price tag. Say hello to Quince. I'm snagging high end essentials like cozy cashmere sweaters, sleek leather jackets, fine jewelry, and so much more. With Quince being 50 to 80% less than similar brands. And they partner with factories that prioritize safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing. I love that. Luxury quality within reach. Go to quince.com slash style to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. Quince.com slash style. 1-800-Flowers.com is more than your birthday, anniversary, or just because gift giving destination. We put our hearts into everything we do to help you celebrate all life's special occasions with friends and family. 
From our farmers and bakers, florists and makers, everything from 1-800-Flowers is made with love every step of the way. Because we know that nothing is more important than delivering a smile. To learn more, visit 1-800-Flowers.com slash ACAST. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash ACAST. Hey, it's Paige DeSorbo from Giggly Squad. High quality fashion without the price tag. Say hello to Quince. I'm snagging high-end essentials like cozy cashmere sweaters, sleek leather jackets, fine jewelry, and so much more, with Quince being 50 to 80% less than similar brands. And they partner with factories that prioritize safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing. I love that. Luxury quality within reach. Go to quince.com slash style to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. Quince.com slash style. Thanks for listening until the very end of the show. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give my podcast a rating, or if you have the time, write a review. It's a really nice way of letting me know you enjoy these episodes and encourages me to make more of them for you. Thanks very much and have a lovely day.